In this video, we'll cover the basics of the Dynamic Panel widget. When you want to show, hide, swap, or move content, the Dynamic Panel is your go-to widget. Let's create a login button that dynamically shows an error message if the login fails, and links to the My Account page if it succeeds. To create the error message, we'll use the Dynamic Panel. It helps to label Dynamic Panels so we can identify them when setting up interactions. Let's call this Error Panel. Double-clicking the Dynamic Panel opens the Dynamic Panel State Manager dialog. In this dialog, you can add, delete, organize, and rename panel states. For the error message, we only need one state. Double-click the state to open it for editing. This opens the Dynamic Panel state in the wireframe pane. The dashed lines show the boundaries of the Dynamic Panel. Anything outside the boundary of the panel will not be visible on the page. Design the state just like you do with pages. Going back to the home page, let's resize the panel to fit the message. We want the error message to be hidden by default, which we can do by right-clicking the Dynamic Panel and choosing Edit Dynamic Panel, Set Hidden. Now let's add our cases to the Login button. For the first case, if Login succeeds, we'll add an action to open My Account Page in Current Window. In the second case, if login fails, we want to use the Show Panel action and choose the Error Panel. You also have the option to add a fade effect. Let's generate the prototype and see what we've got. Clicking on the Login button displays the two cases. Choosing if login fails displays the error message. Choosing if login succeeds takes us to the My Account page. Now let's create a tab control. Since we already laid out the first tab view, we can use a shortcut to create the dynamic panel. Select the widgets, right click, and choose Convert, Convert to Dynamic Panel. This automatically creates the panel and moves the widgets into the first state. This time we'll use the Dynamic Panel Manager pane instead of double clicking the panel. You can use this pane to manage the dynamic panels on a page and their states. A dynamic panel can have multiple states. For this tab control, we'll need three states, one for each tab. Double-clicking a state will open it, or clicking the Edit All States button opens all the states in the panel. On the click of each tab, we want to set the dynamic panel to the appropriate state. To do this, we use the Set Panel State to State action. For example, we can add a case to the on-click event of the Details tab to set the dynamic panel to the Details state. And we'll do the same for each tab. We can copy and paste the widgets from the first state to the other states and adjust the formatting of the widgets to match the tab view. Now let's generate the prototype. Clicking on each tab changes the panel state to show the correct content. And that concludes the basic dynamic panels demo. If you have questions, Email us at support at or tweet us at ActureRP.